wabarakatuh Hello friends How are you? Friends, welcome back to our channel In Great For This Official I'm glad to see you again And how is going on? I hope you always fine, happy, and always healthy. Yeah, meet again with Miss Siti, and today we are going to study science. Yeah, but before we start, please press your hand and we pray together. Pray begin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi zidni ilma, warzukni fahma. Okay, I have a video. Please watching this video until the end, and let's watch and enjoy it. Hello, students. Welcome back to the science lesson with Miss Siti. Friends, for new chapter in science lesson, it's about electricity and magnetism. And for the first topic, it's about electricity. Yeah, are you ready to study? Yes, I am ready. Good. Here we go. Electricity. What is electricity? Electricity is a form of energy. It caused by flow of tiny particle called electron through a material. Electricity is a flow electric charge along a wire. Things need electricity to make them work. Friends, that you know electricity that is very important to our everyday life right electricity is all around us and it enters our homes and buildings through wires and socket electricity is used to light things like lamp or a bulb a heat things like irons, move things like fan, and sound things like amplify, it make them louder. Yeah. Electric circuit. What is electric circuit? Electric circuit is a complete path through which electricity can flow. Okay, friends, look at the picture. It is example of the electric circuit. Yeah, it is simple electric circuit. And for the example of simple electric circuit, it's like how the torch works. Yeah, how the torch works. The torch works because it shall push the electricity. This makes the bulb light up. And for the detail is electricity can flow in one direction or electrical current in the torch. The current flows from one end of the first cell to the other end then it flows through the next cell through the bulb and back again into the first cell current need a continuous path this path is called a complete circuit a switch can be used to turn a circuit on or off This is component of a circuit. Yes, it's like cell. The next component is bulb or lamp, wire, a bulb holder, 
and sweet. What are cells? Look at the picture. A cell has a positive and a negative. The current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. If you use two cells, yeah, you must always put the negative terminal of one against the positive terminal of the other cell. Yeah. Bulb or lamp. The lamp lights up when the electricity flows through it. And wires. The wires carry electricity consists of two parts. The metal wire is called conductor. Yeah. The inside of plastic, yeah. The plastic coating around the metal wire is isolator to prevent people from being from being electrocuted. And the next is terminal. It's a place on a battery where electrons can go in or go out. Switch. Yeah, switch is a device that can open or close a circuit. Conductor. Conductor is a material through which electric charge can easily flow. Most metals are conductors. Our body is also good conductors. Yeah. Because uh, our body have water and uh, mineral. It is example of the conductors like silver, gold, uh, steel, iron, um, platinum, and many more. Next is isolator. Isolator is a material through which electric charge cannot easily flow. And for the example, it's like glass, plastic, rubber, wood, pepper, and many more. And what we have learned today, number one is, we have learned definition of electricity, use of electricity, the torch works, definition of electric circuit, component of electric circuit, and the last is conductors and isolators. Okay, friends? This is uh, the material uh, today yeah, for the um, science lesson, and the topic is electricity. Yes, I have exercise for today. Please answer five question yeah please answer five question number one is what is the electricity number two is what is electric circuit number three please write three components of circuit number four is what is conductors and isolators number five or the last is Please give three examples of conductors. Okay? Good luck, friends. Don't forget to do the exercise. And if you finish, take a picture for your exercise and submit to your teacher. Okay, friends? Enough for today. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for... Um, watching this video until the end see you again in the next video in the next meeting stay safe and healthy at home wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh